So it's been a while since Rachel Zegler blew up for all the wrong reasons. Um, there is a big focus on her love story. Um, with a guy who literally stalks her. And due to the recent actor's strike, we haven't heard from her in a long time. But she's returned with an absolute bang with her recent Actors on Actors interview with Halle Bailey. And I wanted to check out this interview to see whether or not she's changed her tune or if she's going to follow down the same track she was before the actor's strike where she was attacking the original Snow White and attacking the fans back. And in a way, she's actually done both in this interview. So let's check out this first clip it started to make me feel like solid teflon yes <laughs> that it can't really that nothing can hurt anymore Amen. because they've said the worst that can be said and mm -hmm. you just kind of say thank you so much for this <laughs> i have a lot of love in my life yes and i'm very thankful Amen. and and you know we get to do our work and, and have that speak for itself. So what she's saying here sounds good on paper and looks good, but it's so far from reality as she also responded to this backlash and she chose to antagonize many fans online through the way in which she attacked all men and also through the way in which she continued to provoke people through her tweets and add a lot more gas to the fire. It's so dumb. Whereas someone like Haley Bailey could say this because she never responded to the fans. She never attacked them back. She never provoked them. She never got involved into any of this online backlash. And that's why she wasn't attacked online to the same extent that Rachel Zegler was. And things never really got personal with Haley Bailey. The only issue and controversy around her was that some people didn't like the fact that the Little Mermaid had been race swapped, but it never got personal people didn't really attack Haley Bailey personally and the only ones that did that were just mean people anyways whereas when it comes to Rachel Zegler it seemed like the whole world almost united in attacking her online and that's entirely down to the fact that she got involved herself she actually responded she provoked the fans and continued to speak out online which she's allowed to do that's her prerogative however that means that after all this backlash happens you can't then turn around and act like you didn't provoke it. You then can't turn around and act like you didn't add any more gas to the fire as you definitely fueled a lot more of this backlash through continuing to respond to the fans, which like I said is fine. You can do that if you want, but then you can't pretend that that didn't happen. And we can also notice just through this first clip that her whole tone and demeanor has changed and she seems to be a lot more calm, a lot more centered and a lot more professional in the way in which she's going about this interview and the way in which she presents herself, which I personally think will serve her well in the future, as that will obviously help her through different media situations by just being more calm and being more professional. And so maybe she has learned from this situation. Maybe there has been some growth there, which I do think is a positive. However, the problem here is that while she's speaking in a professional way, she's just saying things that aren't true because like I already said, she did retaliate. She did respond to the backlash. So you can't act like you didn't do that. And then on top of that, she seems to be putting things back onto the fans as let's check out this next clip. Definitely pressure. The cartoon's so beloved. It's like a monumental moment in film history. Yeah. It was like the first feature length cartoon yeah. movie. All of these amazing things that, that happened for that film are the reason that you and I really get to sit here today because yes. it made Disney what it is. Mm -hmm. I mean, much like Hunger Games, there's just a very dedicated group of people Fans, who yeah. love Disney cartoons. I'm one of them. Mm. You know, I, I love uh, the, everything that the Disney company has put out yeah. in the past a million years, a hundred years this yeah. year. Because this is not what she said just six months ago. Just a few months ago, there were many clips of her actively saying she didn't like the first Snow White. I mean, just look at this clip, which is just one of the many where she chooses to say she doesn't like the original Snow White. 
I was scared of the original cartoon. I think I watched it once and then I never picked it up again. Like, I'm being so serious. I so either that was a lie or this is a lie, but either way, she's lying. Because you can't say that you've only seen Snow White one time, you didn't like the original film, the original film scared you, and then all of a sudden say that you love everything Disney puts out and that you've been a huge fan of Disney for your whole life. Maybe you did like many different Disney movies, but you can't act like you were a huge fan of everything they put out when you chose to say just a few months ago that you didn't like the original Snow White. I mean, you know, the, the original cartoon came out in 1937, yeah. and very evidently so. And almost the whole marketing campaign behind Rachel Zegler playing Snow White was about all the changes they were making to the story, and how the first story just wasn't good, how the first story doesn't cut it in today's society, and that's why they had to make changes, which if that's going to be your marketing strategy, you can't then switch it up and then act like you love the original Snow White when we've all heard you say that you didn't. Because this puts it back onto the fans, because it acts like she was just someone who was cast as Snow White, was really happy to be there, and then got hounded on the internet. But the reality here is that if she would have just said this a few months ago, she wouldn't have been attacked to the same extent, or attacked personally at all. All. As if she came out and said she's a huge fan of Disney, she's so grateful to be playing Snow White and to be being a part of this amazing company, she wouldn't have been attacked. But she didn't say any of this, and that's why she got attacked online. So by her changing it up in this way, it just puts it back onto the fans and makes a lot of the fans look a lot worse than they really are. How dare you! As they were only reacting to what Rachel Zegler was saying, it didn't happen the other way around. And we're we're also getting various headlines saying that all of this attack on Rachel Zegler was fueled by bigotry, but my answer to that is that why weren't people attacking Halle Bailey to the same extent when she was in the same position, and that's because she didn't add fuel to the fire. She didn't attack the fans, she just said that she was grateful to be cast as the Little Mermaid, and that was that. And people can understand that while maybe they don't like there being a race swap, you can't really blame Halle Bailey as if anyone was offered a Disney starring role and offered millions of dollars, you'd be an idiot to turn it down. So they're not angry at the actors for choosing these roles, and that's why Halle Bailey wasn't attacked to the same extent, and also that's why Gal Gadot hasn't been attacked to the same extent, despite her also being in Snow White. But because she doesn't retaliate, she didn't attack the fans back, and she didn't attack the original Snow White, she didn't suffer the same amount of backlash because it wasn't warranted because she didn't bring that onto herself. And this isn't a personal attack on Rachel Zegler, I'm just saying that this is what she said and that's why fans are angry, and so you have to admit that the reason fans are angry is more so to do with what Rachel Zegler said rather than Rachel Zegler just being cast as Snow White. And especially when it comes to a role like Snow White or just any lead role in a Disney movie, many people all around the world would kill for that opportunity, so when they see someone cast as that character and then not come across as entirely grateful for that opportunity and not come across as if they're thankful to get that opportunity, that does feel like a slap in the face to many people. So while of course she doesn't have to be grateful for every role she gets, the reality is that many people would kill for that role, and so when they see someone cast as that role and then see them actively mock the original movie and then actively mock the fan online, that just leaves a sour taste in many people's mouth, and that probably led to there being even more attack on Rachel Zegler from many different actors as well, who would also want to get that opportunity. But now we also get articles like this one saying the following. Rachel Zegler explains why she's thankful for Snow White backlash. Rachel Zegler has taken the high ground against the online trolls who criticized her casting in Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs live action remake. Make. But the problem is that she didn't take the high ground initially, and she did retaliate. So while she's taking the high ground now, you can't just all of a sudden 
say that you're out of the fight when you actively started it and you actively got involved. So while I do understand that she's growing from the situation, she's learning, that's okay, but you can't then pretend like it never happened. You can just say that you've learned from it and you've moved on and that you've grown as an actor yourself and that you won't attack the original source material or attack the fans. And she doesn't have to say that. She doesn't have to apologize, but she also can't pretend like it never happened. She just needs to move on and not talk about it. And I just wish media could be honest about the situation that's happening here because this isn't a personal attack on Rachel Zegler. This isn't a bigoted attack on Rachel Zegler for the most part. Most people who have attacked Rachel Zegler online have only done it because of what she said. So why can't we just be honest and say, look, there's nothing against Rachel Zegler, but the comments she made led to the attack and just paint the full picture and look at it from an honest, unbiased perspective. And we're getting other articles now also saying that this is definitely a sexist attack because Jacob Elordi wasn't attacked to the same extent for what he said about the kissing booth. However, I also think Jacob Elordi should be held accountable to what he said about the kissing booth because that's also rude to all the fans who like that movie. And so, of course, that can be taken in the wrong way as well. And he should also be held accountable. But let's also take into account that Rachel Zegler's talking about Snow White here, arguably the biggest Disney movie of all time and the movie that started it all for the company. And Jacob Elordi's talking about the kissing booth, which is hardly held in the same regard as Snow White. So yes, Jacob Elordi should also be kept accountable because this has nothing to do with gender and everything to do with just a little bit of gratitude and respect and especially respect for the fans who are the reason you're in the position you are today. So yes, Jacob Elordi should be held accountable to the same extent that Rachel Zegler is because this isn't a sexist issue. This is just an issue around source material and an issue around respect for an audience base. But what are your thoughts on this situation? What are your thoughts on Rachel Zegler's comments? Let me know down below in the comments. If you like the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all on my next video.